Hey everybody, my name is Silver Fatigue. We have two things, three things that we're gonna be opening up and looking at today. Um, so you kind of get to join me in the journey because I'm excited and I wanna share it with someone. So the first thing we have is the HD60X Elgato. Uh, it has 4K 60 HDR, but then the capture is 1080p at 60. It, it's it's what I need for, for my uses, right? I, I mean, what am I going to play? I'm probably going to play Mario Kart, Breath of the Wild, and then Tears of the Kingdom, which is coming out soon. So, do I really need something that's higher than 1080? Not really. It's your typical capture card. So, you know, if you want something kind of decent, hopefully this is it. This is the cheapest Elgato I could find. But Elgato is the brand to go to from what I've heard. I've never had a capture card, so I don't know how any of this works. I've done some videos on it, but that's why you get to be here with me and watch me set it up. So, yeah. Um, and you open up the front and it tells you a little bit of facts about the Elgato and then right up front it has your capture card right here. It's got your HDMI in and your HDMI out along with your USB-C and an aux cable cord. It also includes this little sticker, which I think is cute and is going to go on my computer, along with the USB-C to USB adapter, and then your HDMI cord. Now you can take all that out, and now we're gonna hook it up. But before we hook it up, there's actually uh, something else that we get to look at, and that is my prized possession. So this item I actually had pre-ordered on Amazon originally, but whenever it released on the 28th, May 28th, when it released on May 28th, um, everyone was saying that theirs had already shipped out. Mine hadn't. And so, since I do live off the mainland and I am on an island, I figured, oof, maybe, maybe, maybe I got backed or, like, maybe I got backed, maybe they're gonna cancel my pre-order, and I just started panicking. And so I did the next sane thing, and I called my game, my local GameStop a couple days before drop. Well, I contacted beforehand, just in case. And I contacted my local GameStop day before drop, and they said that all of their, their spots were reserved. And I was like, okay, okay, no room. They're like, no room. And I'm like, all right, all right. And so then I call the next day, and I'm like, hey, do you guys, do you guys have any? And they're like, no, we don't. And I was like, okay, what about Tears of the Kingdom, right? Uh, are you guys still accepting pre-orders? Because... If you don't know, GameStop is having a reservation list for Tears of the Kingdom, and if you buy through them, then you can get a wooden plaque with your order, which a lot of people might not be too concerned about, but who wouldn't want to have a wooden plaque saying, I bought Tears of the Kingdom. I pre-ordered Tears of the Kingdom. Who wouldn't want that? Especially with how good Tears of the Kingdom is most likely going to be. Who wouldn't want that? So I go in, I pre-order, they still don't have it, and I'm like, okay, okay, you know, and, uh, and so I leave, and so then, got tickets for the theater, came back later that night, I checked in with them, I said, hey, you guys have any, any OLEDs that are open and available? And they said, yes, we do, and I was like, oh, that's weird, I came in here earlier and they said they didn't have them, and I'm like, that's weird, yeah, we have one. So this is where I got this. This is where I got this. And I'm not gonna lie, I have already opened the front of it because I wanted to look at it, but I haven't completely unboxed it yet. So so we got the box and it is a little battered here and there, but I'm not, I'm not really a collector, so it doesn't really bother me that much. I'm just glad I got it in a timely fashion too, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. But um, I am excited because I only have one Switch and I got it back in 2017, if I recall correctly, when it first dropped. And, you know, that that baby lasted me a real long time. It's still kicking to this day. It's like in, almost in perfect condition. Um, it was the standard red and blue. But then one of my Joy-Cons started experiencing drift last year. So I ended up replacing them and I got the uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword ones, which... I think look a million times better, by the way. I am really excited for what the OLED has in store for us because 
this was a, a pretty decent investment. So let's let's see let's see what it is. So it looks like it's still a standard OLED. Yeah, it, it seems like it's just a reskinned OLED. So let's let's crack this baby open. Is it is it worth the extra ten dollars than a standard? So if we open this up, we have our Joy Cons. Now our Joy Cons, they actually look really nice if we take a good look at them. They've got this beautiful gold color. Ooh, and I like the white on the back. My worry is, is these. I'm worried that these are gonna end up coming off over time and wearing off. And I'm worried that over time those are just gonna kind of come off with use. But I really do like this green gold and then this white gold. I, I heard a lot of people were talking about them and they were like, eh, I'm not too excited. Well, it's a reskinned OLED. No matter how much you love Zelda, no matter how much you love the Switch, it's still a reskinned OLED. Yes, would we want something more? Yes. Is this what we're gonna get? Most likely, yes. But as a Zelda fan, I think these are very good and I really like these. Now, the thing that has me mainly concerned is the fact that I've seen, from what I've seen on the case, the Joy-Cons are the only thing that has green on them. And that is kind of discouraging because... And that is kind of discouraging because green is the symbol for Tears of the Kingdom. When you think Tears of the Kingdom, you think that, that bright green. And you don't really think this dark, foresty green when you think of Tears of the Kingdom. That's the, at least that's not what I think. Now, there's only green on one controller. There is no more green on the rest of the console. This isn't a deal breaker for me because I love Zelda. <laughs> like, it's... It is what it is. Now if we pop out the screen here. Oh wow. That is a nice screen. I never knew how big the, the actual screen was. And look at how shiny it is. Look at that reflective. That is a brand new screen for sure. And it looks beautiful. Oh man. Now if we want to talk about this back design. A lot of people don't like this back design. But I actually really like it. I love the simplicity of it. A lot of people said that it looks like they just took a whole bunch of circles and drew them on here. You're probably right. Does it still look kind of dope? That's where we're popping out the dock. Now the dock I am in love with. Look at this beautiful reflective gold on that white. That is beautiful. And the back is pretty as well. I've never had an OLED, so maybe this is how all OLEDs look, but it is very pretty. I feel like this is a missed opportunity. You could have put print in here. This could have had print in it. Same with here, this could have had print in it, but you, you missed out, Nintendo. You definitely could have. Here, we got our HDMI out, we got our AC adapter, and we got our LAN. The standard didn't have a LAN, I don't believe. Now to finish it off, it also comes with an AC adapter and an HDMI cord, um, which is great, but the thing is I have so many HDMI cords now that I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> so we're just going to put this to the side for now and let it rot in the box. Another thing I forgot to mention is that it also comes with this. Now I'm disappointed. This could have been white. This could have been white with green green designs on it and it would have been amazing well because in the mario one it, it, didn't it come in red or blue or something like that and this this is disappointing honestly we're paying ten dollars extra so i know it's not that much but we could have at least gotten one of these in white now another thing i didn't mention is the handholds i don't know exactly what these are called but i called them the uh the old man connectors because when my dad plays, he has to play with these because his hands are too big for the little buttons. So, now these are, these are pretty, but they're not, not exactly what I was hoping for. Like I said, there's not enough green in this set, and I wish there was more green. The, they are pretty nice, though, with this white and then this golden white rope. Um, but it, it does just kind of look stock to me. It looks really stock. Looks like they didn't really do a lot with this. And they could have done a lot with this. And that's what's upsetting. 
Now to go with our Elgato, I don't know if we need this. 100%, I did not do enough research on it to see whether we need this or not. But I also got the Chatlink Pro, which is supposed to be... This is supposed to streamline your audio recording. Now, like I said, if if I don't know if we need it or not. It says it's used to capture all PS5, PS4, and Nintendo Switch audio. So hopefully it does. But I don't know. Does, does Elgato do that normally? Or is this like an addition? So we'll, we'll check that out here in a bit. Now, so setting this up was very difficult. Um, and by very difficult, I mean, I don't even know if it's, like, still good. Because basically, you have to, you have to mess around with your, like, your rate. I don't remember what it's called. It, it's, it's some weird setting, and you have to do a whole bunch of weird settings, and if you don't, it comes out really grainy looking, and it's just, it's just really difficult. But... This is as best as I've been able to get it so far. And this is all this is all a test, but you guys, if you want to, you can watch me try to beat some bacoblins. There we go. Because it'll it'll look fine. It'll look fine while you're recording, but as soon as you end and you try to, like, look at your video, it will look like dog shit, and I don't know why. I've tried almost everything I could think of, and none of it's... none of it's working. So, hopefully it looks better now, though, but if any of you guys have any tips on how to get this working better on OBS, Please do let me know. See, now the thing you need to know about the HD60X is that it doesn't have... It doesn't have a, like, management software, apparently. It only has, like, a studio. And, and what I mean by that... What I mean by that is that... Uh, Apparently, the other capture cards, they have an editing software that come with it. So you can go into that editing software and you can, like, actually manually handle this. Now, what this comes with instead is the Elgato 4K Capture um, utility, which you can still mess with settings on there, but they aren't as efficient. From what I've learned from me handling it, it's, it's not that intuitive. Um, and I don't even really know how to use it still, so. That's nice. But, yeah. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a follow. Comment down below any suggestions on what you guys might want to see next. Or what I should do better to get this running smoother, if you guys have any ideas. But, like I said, thank you guys for watching. And have a wonderful day. This is Silver Fatigue, logging out.